Recorded Books and One Click Digital present Longing by Mary Balog. Narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One It was rather late in the day to go walking, especially in a strange place. But the night was warm and moonlit, and the hills beckoned invitingly. Besides, a day and a half of travelling had made him stiff and restless, and since his arrival soon after noon, he had been busy with his housekeeper and his butler. His agent had called to pay his respects and make arrangements for the coming days, and there had been verity to amuse. If the journey had made him irritable, it had made her positively petulant. It was harder for a six-year-old to sit still and idle for hours on end than it was for an adult. Now she was in bed, coaxed there by an elderly and indulgent nurse, and put to sleep by the stories he had read to her. He was unable to give in to his own tiredness. Everything was so strange. He had been the owner of this property for longer than two years, ever since the death of his uncle, his mother's brother, but he had never been here before. He did not even know much about it, except that the quarterly reports, sent by his agent, showed it to be extremely prosperous. But then aristocrats, whose names and titles and wealth had grown out of large landed estates over several centuries, still frowned upon the idea of making money out of industry. It seemed very middle class, and not quite the thing at all. Times were changing, but very often times changed faster than people. Alexander Hyatt, Marquis of Crail, was the owner of a large area of land in one of the valleys of South Wales, and the ironworks and coal mine on that land. The back of beyond, as his mother-in-law liked to describe it, it was not a compliment. She had been aghast when he had told her that he was going to take her granddaughter there for an indefinite period of time. It was in vain that 